Hey guys, it's Charlie. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm doing another reading vlog. This time, the book I'm going to be reading is The Shadow Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. I have been so excited for this book for months and I would have pre-ordered it but someone said that they already got it for me so I had to wait until Christmas to receive it. So here we are on January 1st getting ready to read this book. Now it only has 326 words so this should not take me long. Like I said I'm starting it tonight so I am very excited to read it. In this book the main character's name is Alessandra and she decides that she wants power. And in order to get power in this world she decides that she's going to charm the king. And not just any king, the king that's cruel and wicked and cunning and just the rudest, honestly meanest king that they have. She has taken it upon herself to try to marry this king. And when she's married this king, she's gonna kill him. But the whole thing about all of this and her plot to marry and then kill the king, she has to keep the king alive first. There are hundreds of other people that are trying to kill this king and she, obviously if she wants to marry him, just to keep them alive. I'm really excited to read this book. Like I said, I've been trying to read it for a while, so let's just get into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, hold up. Before I even start this vlog, I just took the book cover off and look at this. What is it? I've never seen a spine like this. Like, what? I'm sorry. Are all the other, are all, does she have all these other books like cool like this? Wait, do I have? Oh, so I have her other books. I think her other books are pretty, but not like this. But like, what is this spine? Look how cool cool this is I've never I've never seen a spine like this this is I'm pretty Trisha I am very impressed hi so it's you know it's been a while since my introduction to this video um it's currently the fifth and I still haven't started this book because I've been doing I've been working a lot and then I have been doing I've been trying to write a lot so I've been trying to write more than read but I literally am supposed to read every read a book every five days and I haven't even started this and I don't want to start off my new year a book behind schedule so I I'm gonna get started and then I'm probably gonna read for a little bit. Sorry if I look a little weird right now. It's currently 6:27, and I just woke up from a nap because I had to get up early for work and took a nap after I get home. So that's why I look tired maybe. So I'm probably gonna read for an hour. This will be a spoiler vlog. I feel like most of my individual reading vlogs are with spoilers. I feel like I like to do that with the individual vlogs. But like my bigger vlogs with like three books in it like two or three books in it I won't do spoilers because this book is about the shadows between us the beautiful red book with the silver spine I will be telling you guys about my thoughts and updates and how everything is going so I'm gonna get started and I will see you guys in a little bit okay I'll do a third chapter update so I'm on chapter three and I'm already loving it already loving it like capital L on loving it so the main character reminds me of Elaine from Throne of Glass mixed oh who was the other character oh mixed with Jude from The Cruel Prince like that's what I'm getting out of this character and I'm loving it I have a feeling that this is gonna be very fast read for me because it's so good so far like I'm loving it it's going great it's currently only 656 so it didn't take me long I'm only on page 18 but that's because I want to stop and like give you guys an update. But now I have more. I'm really excited about this. Also, so we she's already met the king. She's like trying to get the king's attention right by like ignoring him. And I, their relationship right now already, I'm loving it. Like king, already attractive. He's obviously already like attractive when he had the black hair and the, the green eyes and the short jawline and it's like, okay, that's already attractive. We already know that. But the way he speaks is attractive. Like he seems like he's going to be a sarcastic character. Like a funny and like sexy sarcastic character so I'm excited to like see how their relationship goes it's already pretty like funny I don't know really how to explain it it's just really funny because he like compliments her dress and then she makes a joke about I designed it do you want me to design design you one so like it's kind of funny because he's you know she said that to the king and yeah anyway I'm gonna keep reading I'll update you guys again in a little bit I don't know next time I'll update but I'll probably read a majority of this tonight or all of this tonight just because I don't want to be behind on my um my 2021 reading goal already 
be on Goodreads because, yeah, that would not be a good start to the year. So I'm going to keep reading. Okay, so it's now 4.40 of the next day. I, so some things have just been going on and I'm still very emotional about them. And so that's why I haven't been vlogging. So I did a lot of reading last night and I'm now halfway through the book. So I'm sorry I didn't like update you guys or anything. I've just been going through a couple of things. So I didn't really want to update you guys while I was going through some of those things. So I'll do a quick update with you guys, or not necessarily quick, so I'll explain a couple things. So I'm on chapter 17 now, and it's page 174, and obviously a lot of things have happened since, like, I last talked to you guys. Like, last time I talked to you guys, I was only on chapter 3, and there wasn't a lot going on with our main character, Alessandra, and the prince, or the king, he's the king, and just so many things have happened since then. So as Alessandra has been at the court for a while, she's made some friends and she realizes that like she's starting to be a trendsetter and she can't tell if she's annoyed by it or not. And I just, I can't help but like think like this is reminding me so much of like Elaine and like the first book when she was Selena of Throne of Glass. And so like the whole like court thing is like reminding me of that, but I feel like I'm liking this a lot more. I don't know, it's weird. So Things are getting very heated between Alessandra and Callias. So she figured out they were going through like, so a couple, I think it took like five chapters or something like between five and eight where Alessandra was being blackmailed by the guy she was sleeping with in like the first chapter or something. And then she was like explaining to Callias, which is the king, his real name is Callias, that they're just like old friends or whatever and like rumors have been like going around and pretty much he like wanted to spend time with her just by like herself because so she got threatened by someone on his court or whatever about finding someone better than her because like he says that it's like obvious that like it's a ploy but she doesn't know what he she doesn't know what she's talking about. So things are just happening. I was super excited when Alessandra could finally get rid of that childhood friend. I need to find Myron found it on this page. Um, I was so excited when Myron is finally being dealt with because I hated his character. Like he obviously wasn't that bad in like the beginning because obviously he was there just to be like a guy that Alessandra slept with. And then he kinda turned into like the bad guy for a little bit, besides like obviously the masked person that's like stealing money and everything, which I don't know who it is yet because I'm only on chapter 17. But things are going well between Callias and Alessandra. One thing I did notice was that like everyone's saying this is best like enemies to lovers and like they obviously mean like between Callias and Alessandra and like I don't see this as an enemies to lovers at all. Like they were not enemies. Like he doesn't know. He doesn't know that she's trying to kill him. Like he thinks that he's like not necessarily falling in love but he was like actually getting real emotion with her and she is like I can't tell if she's like faking it or if she's really liking him or not and just like there's so many things going on with like that couple. Can we just talk about the scene where, I think it happened in like chapter 15 or something, where they get naked in front of each other and go into a pond but yet they don't look at each other's naked bodies but yet they talk about all these like sexual things and it's like this is a great chapter. I love that chapter. And just like so many things are happening between Callias and Alessandra and like so Callias finally tells her like why he's not allowed to be touched which I feel like is the weirdest reason ever and like I just Something I don't get about it so far, so as of chapter 17, he tells her that, like, he's a shadow and, like, he can become, like, stable or whatever if he wants, but once he does and someone touches him, then, like, they're, like, he's not, no longer, like, a shadow around them. Bella! Which means that if he lets Alessandra touch him, then, like, whenever she's in the room, he turns back into, like, a mortal or, like, is no longer a shadow. So then he's more susceptible to death, which is why, like, he doesn't want to fall in love. Like, I just wish that wasn't the thing because then he's not going to want to kiss her or do anything and like obviously as readers and like if any of you guys are loving this relationship, like you want it to happen. So like you want it all to happen with them and like are we not going to get that because he like doesn't want to freaking die? Like I understand that like you don't want to die but like you guys for love? Like what? Anyway, so I think I've talked long enough on my update and pretty much what I've read between chapter 3 and 17. 
So I will update you guys later on tonight or like, I don't know when I'm going to update you guys. I feel like when I really get in like the mood to read, I just sit there and read. And that's like what happened last night. Like I read pretty much chapter 4 through 17 in one sitting. Like I didn't do anything besides that. So I'll try my best to update you guys because like obviously this is a reading vlog. So like I want you guys to come read with me and like figure out my thoughts of like this whole thing or whatever. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next update. Okay, we're gonna do a quick 1146 update. I have read none of this since I updated you guys last. Cedric came over and I, cause I needed someone to cry with. Like I said, I was just going through something. I still am. We've been watching YouTube and playing Xbox for the past couple of hours and I was much needed and I'm feeling a lot better. Now that he's gone, it's making me sad again, but it's fine. I wanna keep reading. I'm gonna do some writing before midnight, so just so I have both writing and reading done for today. So I'll actually update you guys when I have a real update besides a, I haven't read anything for a couple hours. Okay, so it's been literally a full day since I've updated you guys. So much has happened. Okay, so I didn't start reading until about an hour ago. It's currently 12.38 on the 8th, but this is technically the 7th update. The last clip you saw was from the 6th and that's why like the days just got by. So today I actually had to work. I had an old friend come over that I haven't seen for five, six months that I missed from high school. She was my best friend in high school. I haven't seen her since August and you know what? I wanted to see her more than I wanted to read so that's what I did. So right now I'm on page 246 I didn't realize that I had read 100 pages this past hour, but that's okay. And I think I'm almost done with it. So there are two, or there are 324 pages. So I'm definitely going to be finishing this tonight. Like I said, it's currently, it's 1239 now, and I won't be going to bed until he finishes. So I am definitely excited. So I think the last, I don't even remember what happened the last time I updated you guys, but so far, um, her and Clarence are getting even more closer like they had this whole scene in like the strip club that like they were pretty much making out but like weren't like their hands were like all over each other and they weren't their skin contacts like there was no skin contact but then something happened and now someone touched him and now he's in like extreme danger of like he thinks that he's literally going to die within like the next couple of days which he's not he's just being dramatic which Duh. There's just so many things going on. The thing that's frustrating me right now is Alessandra is like slowly falling in love with him, but she keeps like reminding herself like you're here to kill him, you're not here to love him, like you've already been in love and it sucked. But I'm also like we're also seeing her like change her mind. Like so she ended up getting the poison that she wants to poison him with, but now she's like starting to feel guilty about even having it. So like things are happening. They finally caught the thief, which it was Orion or Orin? Orin. Orin. It's it's spelled O-R-R-I-N. So that was the thief. And just there are a lot of things happening. So Kalias's old best friend just like professed his love for her again and like she just rejected him. And I'm talking about Leandros. I had to like find his name to remember who it was. And it's just, it's interesting because like as like this entire book went on, she's like flirted with him and she's like talked about how she would have so much fun with him. But in this last paragraph, as like this book has like gone over and how, and after like Elias and her have gotten so close, she like just was like, no, it's not going to happen. I've already like promised myself to him. And so that's really good. They're starting to like, she's starting to actually create a relationship with him. So I feel like this is my prediction for the end. I feel like she's going to fall in love with him. I think this is a want a standalone book. So she's either going to fall in love with him and he's going to fall in love with her and he's going to lose his shadow ability for her or he ends up dying, which I really hope it's not the sec second option because I really don't want him to die. I'm really excited that I have less than 100 pages left, so I want to get to it. Also, I'm really sorry that this vlog doesn't have like a lot of extra content to it like my other vlogs do. But there's just been a lot of things happening the past couple of days. But, like, I already started the vlog and I wanted to, like, update you guys. If you want to talk more and have, like, another chat, maybe, like, comment that down below. And maybe we'll do, like, a live stream or something. And we can, like, chat about this. Like, you guys can comment. We'll, like, do discussions. Like, maybe that could be an option if that's what you guys want to do. It makes me nervous thinking about doing a live stream. But, like, I think it'd be fun. I could try it out. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get back to... Reading, I'll probably be done with this by 2 a.m., which is like an hour and 15 minutes, so I don't doubt 
that I will probably be done by this with this by at least 1 30 but we'll see how it goes so I'll update you guys in a little bit also I my camera stand with my camera on it fell over today and I thought I broke my camera and my stand my camera was fine but I broke my stand so I was fixing it all day I like glued it this morning and like it's finally dry now which is why I'm just now only updating you guys because my stand has been broken but I fixed it so it's fine okay this isn't really the biggest update but i just thought this thing was the most bizarre thing that just freaking happened so the king literally just found out that she murdered hector and he's literally laughing his ass off like he literally thinks it's hilarious and he's like freaking out be like you need to marry me now like you're amazing you need to marry me and i just think that's so funny like i thought like reading her being like question stuff he was thinking like oh my god this lady's crazy and then after they, they left, he just starts laughing and he's like, you're amazing, marry me, I need you to marry me. And I'm just like, I love their relationship. It's I love this. Like, okay, you guys, I already know what this is going to be my rate. I already know what my rating for this book is going to be. I'm not going to tell you guys until the very end, but I'm so, I'm loving this relationship. I'm kind of scared that it's not going to end well with, I feel like Calais is going to die and I don't want him to die. So I'm hoping he doesn't die. I'm loving this. And I'm just like, and she's also realizing she doesn't have to kill him. Like she, he offered her the crown as like an equal. And so I'm, st I'm loving, I'm loving, I'm loving, I'm loving, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm getting jittery and I love this. The last time I got jittery, jittery like this was reading Kingdom of um, The Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco, and I'm just, I'm loving this. <sighs> I have no words right now. I literally think I almost just had a panic attack from reading. What the f just happened? So, Callias found the poison that she had, and I think I literally, my heart just broke for her. She literally just professed her love to him, and he's sending her away, and I think I'm about to cry. I, I'm on chapter 29, for you, page 308, and I swear to freaking God, I've like, I've less than 20 pages left. I swear to God, if they don't end up together, I am going to cry. Like, literally, this entire book, my heart has been warm and fuzzy and i've been living this relationship and if it dies i'm going to die <sighs> i'm just so bitter right now i'm so bitter right now I'm just so mad i'm so mad i'm gonna keep reading and if they don't get back together this next update we'll see how it goes i just finished the book it was a good ending oh my gosh okay so plot twist lies La i think it's lysandros lysandros or something his best friend turned out to be oh leandros leandros turned out to be his brother i think i don't know how to say his name it's spelled weird xanthos i think xanthos is his name so leandros turned out to be xanthros and he was the one that killed his parents and i you guys they got back together so okay so alessandra realized this after she had kissed him and his dark hair dye came off on her like hands and she realized this in the carriage and she immediately went back to the castle and was like fighting between them and was like trying to like convince Callias that like it's not like it's his brother and just so many things happened and she ended up killing him not Callias. she ended up killing Xanthos Xanthos so she ended up killing Xanthos she, she like beheaded him and then she still like she left after that because like the king was like totally out of it and like he couldn't talk to her at all like he just was like passed out from xanthos like beating him and then a week later chapter 30 is like a week later or whatever and she's staying at she's staying at her friend's house um rhoda rhoda was the friend that she's staying at and so she has like been staying at rhoda's for a week and then all of a sudden all of a sudden he shows up and like reads her the letter he like wrote for her but like she didn't open yet because you know they had sex oh yeah by the way they had sex and oh my god it's just i amazing 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 and one of the last lines was her saying i do i mean they're not getting married right now but she said i do and i just oh my god i and loving this this is probably my favorite trisha levenseller book i'm not gonna lie this book reminded me a lot of carrie mascalco's books and like her writing style and i am just so in love with it 
this was an amazing book. I was a big fan of her Daughter of the Pirate King series or duology, but this is by far probably one of my new favorite books. I loved it. The plot twist was crazy, and I kind of had the I kind of had the, like the little hint that I thought Leandros was the killer, but I definitely did not think that you know he was actually Goliath's older brother. So that was definitely the probably the biggest plot twist in here besides like. Okay, that was the second biggest plot twist. The first biggest plot twist is when Kalas found out that she had poison and she was going to use it on him and he like threw her out. That was the biggest plot twist. That literally like broke my heart and I broke my heart to a million. But you guys, I absolutely loved this book and I just want you guys to know I'm rating this a 5 out of 5, which means you guys need to read it. I'm just saying this was 20,000 times better than I thought. I wish I would have gotten it when it first came out. I actually had it pre-ordered and then I wasn't so sure about it so I canceled the pre-order and then I got it for Christmas and I'm just saying I should have gotten it when it first came out but I'm really glad this was the book that started off my 2021 because this was an amazing book. So I was right, I finished the book before 2 o'clock. It's 1.49 now, but I finished it. I've been talking for five minutes, I guess, so I finished it around like 1.45, and I am so in love with this book. You guys, I highly recommend it. The love, like the romance in this is amazing, and like the story in this is amazing. I'm not gonna lie, everyone was like, this is an enemies to lovers, but it's not an enemies to lovers book which like that's fine like the enemies to lovers like brought me in to read this because I'm enemies to lovers trash but there wasn't any in it and that's perfectly fine because what she wrote in here was more amazing than enemies to lovers so I just I loved this book all right guys this is probably gonna be it for this vlog I'm sorry that I didn't have a lot of like extra information for you guys like I wish I would have but just the past couple of days have been kind of bad for me and I promise that my next reading vlogs will be a lot better than this one. Comment down below if you've read this book. Put spoilers before you comment before the other people so other people don't see it. Comment down below your thoughts on this book and like what you thought on like your thoughts on what some of these things I talked about and also comment down below if you think that I should start doing live streams of some books. I think it would be fun but I'm also really nervous to do it by myself so maybe I should like find a friend but I'm also social anxiety so that probably won't happen but yeah comment down below if you think a live show would be a fun idea like this video to see more videos like this and subscribe to my channel I'll see you next time guys bye